Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ali Reza Firouja and Jan Nepomniachi. This is a game from the Candidates Tournament 2022. Anything important happened to you in 2022? Ali Reza Firouja had white pieces and he started with e4. Jan Nepomniachi played e5. Knight to f3. Black to move, knight to f6. Why Russian players like to play the Russian defense? Knight takes on e5, d6. Knight to f3, knight takes on e4. White to move, d4 is the most played move. Ali Reza Firoja played c4. Knight to c6, and now d3. Watch this pawn. He is not in a hurry to get to d5 square. Knight to f6, d4, bishop to e7, d5 attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to e5, knight to d4 avoiding the trade. Nepo castle kingside. Knight to c3, bishop to g4 attacking the queen, f3. Bishop to d7, bishop to e2, c6 attacking the white center, and Ali Reza, Firouja castled king's side too. c takes on d5, c takes on d5, queen to b6, king to h1, rook from a to c8. It is white to move, and this is quite an interesting moment. Perhaps f4 was expected. Ali Reza played g4, h6, and now h4. A total commitment to the king's side attack. Rook from f to e8, g5, h takes on g5, h takes on g5, knight to h5, king to g2, knight to g6, f4, intending f5 perhaps. Black to move. How would you continue? Nepo played. Knight from h takes on f4 check. Bishop takes knight. And now, not knight takes bishop, but queen takes on b2. Did Firuja underestimate this move? Okay, continued. Knight to e4. Rook to c4, teasing the pinned bishop, threatening to capture the knight, X-ring the knight on e4. Bishop to e3, but now bishop takes on g5 with the sacrificed piece. Black has three pawns, and the white king is quite unsafe. The game continued. Rook to b1, queen takes on a2, collecting one more pawn. Rook to a1, attacking the queen. Should black repeat the position? Or go for the full point? What would you do? In this position, instead of moving the queen, Nepo capture the knight on d4. Rook takes queen. If queen takes rook, what happens then? Then the queen takes on e2 check. And after rook to f2, bishop takes on e3, rook takes queen, bishop takes queen, and black stands better. Back to our game. So in this position we have rook takes queen, rook takes queen on d1, bishop takes queen, bishop takes on e3. Knight to d6, attacking the rook and the pawn on b7. Rook to e7, bishop to b3. Let's take it back. How about capturing the pawn on b7? If knight takes on b7, what happens then? Then bishop to b5 is unpleasant. Back to our game. Bishop to b3 was played. Bishop to c5. Knight takes on b7, bishop to b6, bishop to c4, 
rook to e3, king to h1, bishop to h3, perhaps even stronger is rook to c3, bishop to h3, rook to c1, bishop to f5, bishop to f1, black to move, what would you do? Black played the move and white resigned and the move is bishop to e4 check. Ali Reza Firoja resigned. Let's play a few more moves. Perhaps king to h2. Then bishop takes on d5 with a double attack. Rescuing the knight is losing the rook. But if we move the rook to say e2 then rook takes rook and after bishop takes rook, bishop takes on b7. And black is much better. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.